Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video is going to be going over another Get The Look collection, and this time I got the statement, and I'm really excited. I don't normally do a lot of colored eyeshadow. I usually stick to more warm tones and browns and blah, 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 like everyone else. But I purchased the statement palette, and I'm pretty excited about it. So I have not used it yet. I just got it today. And I'm gonna go over everything that comes with the statement look, and then we're gonna do a couple different eye looks. I wanna do more of just like an everyday palette because I feel like this palette might steer some people away with the bright um, colors. So I'm gonna try doing an everyday look and then doing a really bold look too. So I'm excited. Okay, so first off the palette, of course. So this is the statement palette. It's stunning. It has like the vibe of a peacock which our celebrity uh, makeup artist created. And they, they are just downright stunning. So beautiful, so pigmented. And this, um, this palette is all like shimmers. Um, there are no matte shades in here, which I kind of wish there was just something for like a transition, but we're gonna make it work. I think these are beautiful. So I'm really excited to do an eye look with these. And then, when you get the statement look, you get a highlighter. The highlighter that I chose was in the shade Topaz. There are two highlighters. We have Topaz and Halo. This is kind of the darker one, which I was actually surprised. It looks a lot darker online than what it actually is. So I wanted, to, you know, for summer a little bit more of a tan. So um, this actually is, it's not too um, light, but just a hint of glimmer. This is not gonna give you that total like wet looking highlight or anything. It's just like the most subtle, pretty glow. So I have that, and again, that was uh, Topaz. And then it came with a liquid eyeliner. I'm so excited! And how freaking cute is that? Like, just this little cute gold cone. I love it. And it is a brush tip. So those of you who like those precise applications, like this, that is it. I'm really excited. I have not used anything yet. So I'm excited to give this stuff a try. Um, and I think that is, oh, and a lipstick. So the lipstick that I got with the Get The Look was um, Girls Night. That is the red. So, whoa, so excited to use that too. All right, so I'm gonna save that though for like my bold look, I think. All right, I have no idea what type of look that I wanna do, but I wanna go ahead and start with uh, my face makeup, I already have my foundation, my concealer, and my brows done, so I need to go in with bronzer. And I'm gonna use my new bronzers as well. I think I wanna start going in with Surf. So this is the medium bronzer. And I am just going to bronze up my face with that. I had all my brushes in order and somehow I got out of order, so sorry about that. So just taking a bronzing brush, topping off some excess, and then Gonna bronze it on my face. Do you have a fresh self tan on right now? So the foundation I had to use was in the shade Honey. And normally like sand or linen. I'm gonna pin my hair back. I'm normally sand or linen. Um, but tan is a little bit dark. So honey it is today. just along my forehead and kind of the outsides of my face to just bring some warmth to it because foundation can make you a little flat so you wanna warm it up, bring some dimension to your face. I also go down my neck just to blend everything. I don't, um, the self tanner that I've been using is Vita Liberata and it is their tanning lotion. I'm usually like a tanning mousse type of person um, but what I like about the lotion is it like dries faster than the mousse and I don't feel like super sticky or anything. But I've been using that and I think it's just the shade dark and then I've been using the Eco Tan face water for my face. Cause I usually don't put anything on my face, but that face tan water has been helping so much. It's just so easy to apply. I did talk about that in one of my previous videos, so you can check that out. Um, I'm gonna bronze my nose a little bit. And blend it out. My like go-to makeup look has been like my dew skin and just some like cream blush and cream bronzer. So I haven't like worn a full face of makeup in a while. So it's kind of weird. Um, 
Next, we're gonna go in with blush, and I'm gonna use the um, Bloom and Tulip Blush Duo. And I'm just going to lightly put that on the apples of my cheeks. Such a pretty color. Okay, so got that, and I guess we're gonna go right onto the eyes. I'm really excited. I really don't know what I wanna do. <laughs> so we'll just kinda, I think we're gonna wing it. Let's do the daytime look first. Um, and then I'll somehow turn it into a more dramatic nighttime look. So, um, I think the colors that I'm going to go for are Cider, Flaxen, and Nightfall for like my more daytime look. And then I want to try and pull in some purples, um, and maybe the blue. That blue looks like the blue from the KKW Beauty palette. Just saying. Might do a tutorial on that look sometime. Totally can do that. All right, so I already have um, setting powder on my eyelids, so I'm just gonna go through and put, let's start with Flaxen. That's more of like a, I don't know, like a light peachy shimmer maybe. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. really pretty just like a subtle shimmer so that's I'm starting it in the corner because I'm gonna kind of deepen once I get to the outer corner just gonna blend that in then the other side so keeping it on the inner corner kind of like right where my center of my pupil is oh this is beautiful goes on really pretty with a brush. And that was what I said about the classic palette too, like those shimmers, normally I have to apply with my finger, which you can still get a better uh, color payoff with your finger, but it's just so nice to use a brush and not have all that crap on your hands. Okay, so that went down really pretty. And then next we're gonna go in and I'm gonna take the shade Cider. So this is like a peach or more of a pinky purple type of shimmer. Let's see which brush I wanna use. Um, let's do a flat shader brush be a little more precise so that I'm just gonna put on the outer part of my lid kind of meeting in the center of the pupil where I stopped with the other color I'm really excited to try this liquid liner. I am in no way a pro with liquid liner on myself, but I feel like I constantly mess it up. So I don't have any wipes out, with, out here with me today, so I can't mess up. But when in doubt, you can always use concealer to clean up your winged liner looks. And I'll probably just use a straight liner, not a wing today. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I have Flaxen and Cider down. Those are those two shades right there. Just really light and pretty. And then next I'm gonna go in with the shade Nightfall. So this is kind of like a grayish shimmer. And that I'm gonna use a synthetic brush and we're gonna go kind of up into the crease just to deepen it up a little bit. So I'm gonna start in my outer V and then take that up into the crease just a little bit. I don't think I've ever done like an all shimmer look. But oh my god, that blends so well. And I'm gonna get just a um, brush that doesn't have anything on it to blend it out. That blends so pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that with a more precise brush and I'm gonna go kind of closer in with it. So just taking a really small brush here and this is gonna go a little bit further. 
Oh, wrong brush. And I just use that brush to place the color and then blending. Okay, simple enough. Then we're gonna go to other side here. Seriously, these blend so good. Then using a, another brush that doesn't have anything on it to just blend it out. So just really simple. Honestly, these blended so well, took like no work at all. I'm gonna drag that deep color towards center of my eye. All right, so that's that's all I'm going to do for like the top lashes. Then we're going to highlight, um, inner corner highlight, taking that small brush again, and then I'm going to use the shade Bone. That's like a shimmery white color, so that's perfect for like inner corner highlight. Just popping that right in there. Okay, and then I'm also gonna take a little bit of that underneath my brow bone. So same one. Just kind of gently under there. I don't want it to be too much. All right, and then I'm gonna wipe away underneath my eyes. And I will have to use concealer to clean that up. No big deal. Okay, so that blended out really good. I'm like really impressed. Um, let's go on to the lower lash line now. I'm gonna take the uh, same shade Flax in, and that is just gonna go all over my lower lash line. If I can find the brush that I want. So picky with them. So I'm sorry you hear the noise. Okay, I'm using kind of a flat shader brush again, and I'm gonna take that, and that is just gonna go all along the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take a little bit of cider, kind of do the same thing, just keeping that on the outer part. And then I'm going to go in with kind of a, a flat definer brush. This is an angled one and take the shade Nightfall, that gray color. So I'm just going to press that up against the lash line on the outer corner of my eyes. So my eyes stay pretty open. So I don't want to take that too far in. So just to there, and then I'm going to take another brush and just blend that out, smoke it out. Okay. And then I'm going to, like I said, clean that up with some concealer. Um, I'm going to use my Hint Duet Perfecting Concealer. I just don't have my beauty counter one out here with me. Um, I'm gonna wipe under the eyes. Basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a flat, flat brush with some concealer on it and clean it up. So I'm just gonna go along the corner here. Kinda make it a wing. And blend that out. That's just a little trick if you get a little bit too crazy blending out your eyeshadow. Concealer can easily clean that up. And this was the shade that I used to highlight under my eyes, so it's a lighter shade. With some darkness. Okay. So that is done. Let's do mascara real quick. Always got to curl those lashes. I will do an eyelash, a uh, false eyelash tutorial for you guys sometime, but I think I'll do a video dedicated solely to that just because it takes a while. And 
I still struggle trying to get false eyelashes on myself. Doing it on other people is so much easier, so much easier. And um, I'm still kind of learning tips and tricks on how to apply them on myself. So I will dedicate a whole video separate to that for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna use my Honest Beauty mascara for my upper lashes. This has a primer in it, so I'm using that white primer. And then that has to dry for about 30 seconds. And then you apply the mascara that it comes with. So I just like to make sure my eyelashes get pretty white, sorry, pretty white applying this. Then let that dry. While that dries, I'm gonna put on the highlight. I'm so excited about this, it is so pretty. So again, this is Topaz, and I'm gonna use this is a contour brush, a Morphe M510. I'm just gonna take some lightly on there and tap it off. Oh, that is so pretty. Just like a good, if you've got a good tan going on. That is so pretty. Oh, it's subtle enough to where it's not gonna like really be like, oh my God, she's like dripping wet with highlighter, but it's just enough to give that pop. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit down my nose. And Cupid's bow. All right, let's apply that mascara real quick. So I thought that this eyeshadow looks really pretty for daytime. Um, the lighter shades kind of help you being able to do that. Um, and then we are just going to kind of deepen this up a little bit for more of like a nighttime glam look. And I just really work this mascara because any mascaras with primers, like I don't um, like to get like spider leg eyelashes. So I make sure that everything is separated really well and I really work the mascara onto my lashes. But I just freaking love this mascara. And then I always use my beauty counter on my lower lash line. It's just so good for the lower lash line. I feel like I've said this a million times, but it just doesn't clump. And I can't find a mascara like this that doesn't clump. I don't know. It's just my preference. Okay, for daytime lips, we're gonna do, we'll do twig, I think. I can find, oh, here it is. So this is the Lip Sheer in Twig, and it is just like the prettiest nude, pinky nude. I feel like that looks really good with this look just really like bright eyed and everything. So I'm really, I really like that. It turned out good. Those shadows, I was nervous about just doing shimmers, um, but I feel like that turned out really pretty and it just made my eyes pop, kind of just keep them open and not being too dark or anything. All right, so there's that look. Oh, I love that highlight, I love that. Now, let's do something more dramatic. So I think I wanna dip into that purple shade in the teal because yeah, it's just like speaking to me. And brown eyes, purple looks great on you. Just saying. All right, I'm gonna go right into it. I'm excited to build up that color. So what I'm gonna do is just take it, and that is the shade Mulberry. And this is an easy way to go. If you already have eyeshadow on, like from work or something like that, you don't have a lot of time to get ready, just go back into the palette and pick out some colors to just kind of transform it into that nighttime look. So it's what I'm doing. So I already have kind of that crease going on a little bit with the other shadows, um, with the kind of the deeper in the corner and everything. I'm just gonna take Mulberry and go all over the lid and blend it out. So I'm gonna start, my mascara is a little wet. I'm gonna start down closer to my lower lash line. And I'm gonna place this color all over my lid. That 
color is amazing. And then I'm just blending that into the gray that was already there. To give a little bit of that transition up into the crease. Then I'm going to use a brush that doesn't have anything on it and blend the gray and the purple together to kind of diffuse it a little bit. closer that is just so pretty and it guys this blends so well okay other eye Like I am, I'm speechless over here, guys. I'm speechless. That is just, a, just a dream blending. I like love that. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of that gray, and kind of make this just a little more seamless between the two colors. I know you guys probably can't tell on the camera, but I can here. I just need to kind of blend that a little bit more. Ooh, ooh. I never do any color like this. That looks just stunning. That purple, purple really brings out brown eyes. I'm just saying. Okay, then we're gonna go in with Peacock. That was this one down here, kind of a shimmery teal. And we're putting that on the lower lash line. If I can do it, you can do it. You can do it. Be bold. <laughs> I've got too big of a brush. That's too bold. We'll use start with a smaller one. Okay, so I'm gonna take this little itty bitty guy and um, go into that Peacock shade. Going right at the lash line. Look at me being adventurous with color. This might be my new favorite other than the classic. Maybe I need to shut up about that one. And I'm going like on the lash line and then just like right underneath it so you can like really see it and get a pop of it. So if you guys have this palette, let me know in the comments what you guys are doing with it, what you think of it. I think this is just so fun. Girls night. That just pop of peacock is stunning. I love that. Okay, then we're gonna do liquid eyeliner on the top and I'm excited about it. For what I normally do for liquid eyeliner, since I'm not a pro at it, I like to line where I put it, where I want to put it, and then go over the liner, if that makes sense. I don't know if I have my, I'll just take the darker shade that I have here. I'm gonna take a um, flat definer brush that I used earlier, just like this, and I'm gonna kinda go along where I want to put the liquid eyeliner. You guys probably won't be able to see this, but I'm just gonna go like line that real quick just so I kind of like can trace it, you know? Okay, so that's down. Bear with me, this might take a minute, take a hot minute. just so pretty okay so 
just gonna go. I was, n I never have been a person who wore liquid eyeliner. I just wasn't, I'm like a, a neat freak with my lines and I have never, sorry, I'm shook you a little bit. I've never been able to just get that crisp line. Like I know so many girls who wore it in high school. I'm like, how did you do it? That would take me five hours to do. It still takes me five hours to do. I just messed up a little bit. I'm just doing a thin line to kind of enhance the lash line. I totally forgot that this is matte. That is so awesome. Cause I usually with liquid eyeliners, like I would take black eyeshadow and go over top of them because I like a matte eyeliner. I don't know. Okay, other eye. And I don't really have like a, a way I do it. Um, as you can see, it takes extreme. Trying to follow that line I drew down earlier. Just enough to deepen up that lash line. Make it look like I have some volume in my lashes. Get it right up snug to there. I don't think that looks too bad, Taylor. Good job. But I'm gonna go through and like perfect <laughs> what I messed up. So this applied really, really well. Just like a regular liquid liner would. But this one's better. This one's safer. I'm sold. That was so easy. Okay. So I don't know if I want to do a red lip with this look. Um, I'll try it on for you guys just so you can see what it looks like. But I think it looks good with twig. Like if you're going to do like a bold eye, everybody always says do a, a neutral lip. And I feel like this one turned out really pretty. So I, yeah, I love that peacock on the lower lash line. I'm gonna try and fluff up my lashes a little bit more, make them a little bit more dramatic. There's that. And then I'll switch out to that other lipstick real quick, just to show you guys how crazy pigmented it is. But I like it with twig. I think that looks really pretty. All right, I'm gonna wipe that off real quick. Okay, then I think I used the brush that I was gonna use for my lips. I did, I did. We'll just wipe that off real quick. Reds always make me scared because I don't want it to bleed. So we are going to kind of just go on first. Oh man, I have not tested this out yet either. Oh God, it just smells like peppermint. This is so pigmented. I'm barely touching my lip. You see I'm dabbing. Holy shit. Oh my God. This. This is like the perfect red. Oh. Y'all want a statement, you got it. You can use a, a lip liner if you want. I don't always do it. I just kind of use a pencil or like a really thin lip brush. And then if you mess up, you can always use concealer to go along your lip line. Oh my God, I'm just impressed at how pigmented that is. I think it looks good with the eye makeup too. I don't think it's too much or anything. Oh, I'm really excited about it. Okay guys, I think this is probably my favorite over the classic now. <laughs> 
So the purple and the peacock look so cool. I've seen a lot of people who do like a bright pop of color on their lower lash line. So I wanted to give that a try. I think it turned out really good. Oh, y'all, you wanna know a trick for that? This is weird, but take your finger and do that real quick and it gets rid of the lipstick that are like in the inside of your lips. Teeth check, we're good. Red lipstick makes your teeth look whiter too. I think that turned out so good, I love that. So that was the statement look. And if you're scared of these colors, don't be. You can easily turn a daytime look into a nighttime look or just go for those daytime colors. So, so, so pretty, I loved this. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of me dabbing into some fun colors. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, I kind of think I wanna do the, like a Kim K tutorial with her like blue eyeshadow look with the using the one from the statement palette i don't know stay tuned for that so we'll see all right i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching and i will link my beauty counter website below so you can shop these fabulous products i loved it all right see you guys later bye